Hello, this is Blazekin. This is the fourth video. The last video I showed you a whole bunch of stuff over there. Um, this is my um, binary counter. And it counts on its own. It's someone else's design, but the only reason the gravel is there is just so um, you can have like stuff coming out of it. up to, I don't know what number, but it counts pretty high. I don't know, I'm just learning binary. And then stop it, should stop. Yeah, see? Simple little clock design. Could have used my <laughs> one tick pulse generator on this thing and just had it going really fast. But, yeah, it would have probably glitched or something. Um, yeah, so in this video, I just want to show you that. And then this simple, it's just a little um, generator. This is just the first design. Four way. I think it's the most compact you can get it. It's only three high. Not e or two high, sorry. It's only two high, and there's nothing really. Oh, if that ever happens, just place block there. So yeah, that's all it is. And then I'm going to show you a tutorial on my next two ones I built. They're automatic. You just step on pressure plate and it does it all for you. There's no clocks whatsoever. Just step on it and it mines itself. Or not mines itself, it just generates itself. There, I also have a smooth stone generator over there. It looks similar to this one, just I think it's a little bit faster and um and um, it creates smooth stone, which is faster than mine by like a split second. So. It's like one tenth of the second. Oh, well. adds up. So, yeah, you can mine this forever. The cool thing is you can let it go on forever and just let it go to the very top, and it doesn't glitch out one. Oh, it doesn't glitch out whatsoever. And then I glitch out. Go down. So yeah, it just keeps on going. So, go down here. It just pushes up and just keeps on going. Oh, see it stopped. And if you get off the pressure plate, because you have to get off to mine it all up here, right? And yeah. You can even break that block and it just comes back itself. It's awesome because there's only a piston and a piece of glass underneath here. There's a piston right there. Sticky piston. And a glass on top of it. And that's what pushes it. Basically that works on um, a simple Oh, I need repeaters. It's cool because it doesn't need any torches. Um, where am I? Oh, there's a repeater right there. Oh, and that's the smooth one. I'll show you that guy after. Or I'll show you that to you guys after. Um, so basically, you go like this. Take that. Take that right here. And then I need some redstone. Should be some in the back. The smooth stone one takes a little bit more redstone, though. So I don't really recommend it. Um, this one takes very minimal amount of redstone. So. And the pressure plate, and then the repeater. And that's basically it right there. And all you have to do, if you notice, um, if you're staying on this, there goes power. Basically pushes it up. And then if there's no power, it just leaves it. So that's how that one works. But um, what you could do is you should probably uh, let's see where is it um, set this one to full ticks just because if you go on and off of it too fast like if you go off of it on the tick that this thing is retracting it will retract twice as fast and the glass block will stay up there it happens uh, once in a while but not too often so I figured out just put this repeater on full delay and it doesn't ever happen So yeah, and that's basically it for this one. I'll just build in glass around it. Oh, um, there, and then there. And then, yeah, you just put the water in there. Let's just grab some water. Oh. 
There we go. And you can use a bucket of water, you can just legitly, it doesn't really matter. And then basically you just put <laughs> I'm just using glass just because I could show you guys and also I'd recommend putting a block right there because it does and it has to be transparent if it's not transparent it does not work you can use a half slab you can use glass just any transparent block because the lava sometimes does leak out so all you'd have to do if it leaks out is just replace the redstone there and the redstone repeater right here the only reason it leaks out is if like you built it incorrectly and yeah, that's the only time it ever leak out. It doesn't do it on its own because it's very efficient. If I remember correctly, that's static. Yeah, just press the block button and activate. It. Yeah, see there we go, and it works. See? And this does work. It's it works in multiplayer, single player, right? Oh, eh, that actually got stuck. That's interesting. Thought. Ah, oh, epic fail. Oh, see. Just, oh yeah, I know what's causing that now. Um, this has to be three ticks, and this has to be two ticks. Let's see, one, two. Yes, it should work. I have to do it right when it gets created. Oh, I didn't. Okay, that's fixed it then. All right. This usually happens right when um, that block right there gets when right when it pushes it up and loses power, but gets one more shot of power. Usually goes up and then comes down really quickly. So it just leaves the block up there. But, so yeah, that must have fixed it. Okay, right. I know how to fix it in my single player world. Three ticks and then. And then this one has to be set to two ticks. Should be. You guys just fill around with it and then I'll fix it. Then the next tutorial. 